Hi there, I'm Russell from Byjingo. Welcome to another episode in our Using Byjingo video series. Today we're looking at a very fundamental and important topic, how to use the Byjingo timesheet in our web application. Why do we place such importance on timesheets at Byjingo? Well, we know that accurate and timely recording of the hours that you spend on tasks is essential in a project environment. It keeps vital project information up to date, such as project costs, what tasks are being worked on and their progress, how actual effort is tracking to plan, and when tasks are completed. Even if your job isn't all project work, timesheets still provide vital information and can be used to record different support and maintenance tasks, training, administration, and sick or other leave. So accurate time recording is fundamental in both project and line management environments. The Byjingo system includes two separate ways of entering hours into your timesheet. Our mobile app allows you to enter your hours directly into your Apple or Android mobile device. To see how this works, check out the mobile app how-to video on our website. But this episode is to show you how to enter and submit your timesheet in the Byjingo web application. So today we're going to cover logging in and navigating to your timesheet, how to use the controls of the web app timesheet, how to enter your daily hours into the timesheet, and how to complete and submit your timesheet for approval. So let's get started. Our demonstration environment company, Acme IT, Kylie Cheng is an application developer working in the design and development department. Kylie's Byjingo profile is team member, meaning that she has no assigned roles. So timesheet entry is the only Byjingo function she performs. So let's follow Kylie as she uses the Byjingo timesheet through a typical weekly cycle. Kylie logs into Byjingo and the home page is displayed. From here, she can access her timesheets in three ways. First, using the My Timesheets item on the main menu bar. Clicking this item brings up a list of all her timesheets. She can open any timesheet in the list by clicking on it to select it and then clicking the My Timesheet icon. Alternatively, she could right click the selected line and choose My Timesheet from the pop up menu. The second way is to use the My Timesheets widget. A single click opens the widget which displays a summary of her timesheet statistics and provides direct links to the timesheets for this week and last week. Thirdly, to access her timesheet for the current week, she can click on the timesheet link in the top right of the screen. Now we have the timesheet open, let's look at some of the controls in the timesheet form. The week starting date is displayed in the top right of the form. Timesheets for successive weeks can be displayed using the left and right buttons, or zoomed to a particular date using the calendar function. The timesheet is arranged as a grid of rows and columns. The rows are arranged by project and then by task. Tasks can be displayed or hidden using the icons in the top row. The timesheet event log provides an audit trail of transactions performed on each weekly timesheet. Here is the event log for the timesheet for week starting 15th of June. There are a number of timesheet printout options available. Clicking in the show all tick box reveals all assigned tasks regardless of start date. When show all is unticked, the timesheet displays tasks only when the start date is within two weeks of the current date. The columns displayed in the form can be tailored by right clicking the heading and selecting column options. Let's add the percent physical complete column to the form. We'll see how this is used later in the video. <music> 
filling in hours against tasks is very straightforward. To do this, open the timesheet for the current week, then click in the cell for the day and task that you want to enter time against. Then simply key in the number of decimal hours you have worked. The entered hours are automatically saved by tabbing or clicking away from the cell. Because Byjingo is a real-time system, as hours are entered against tasks, the actual hours field in the project task is updated immediately. So, if you enter your hours each day as you work, not only does this mean you don't have to record the time elsewhere, but actual hours in the project are updated on a daily basis. Now let's look at the task log. If you right click in a selected cell, you can select task log from the pop-up menu. The task log form allows you to add comments per task per day as a record of the details of your work or to communicate with the project manager. Task logs are visible from within the project and can be viewed or printed by the project manager. At the end of each week, team members complete their timesheets and submit them for approval. Before submission, extra information can be provided to project managers on the progress of tasks. Project managers can then use this information to keep their project schedules up to date. If a task has been completed, the complete tick box can be filled. This also sets the percent physical complete field to 100%. If a task is still in progress, the percent physical complete field can be filled to indicate the degree of completion. Finally, if a team member feels that the task will be completed significantly before or after the planned finish date, the estimated completion date can be set to provide this information to the project manager. So, at Acme IT, Kylie Cheng completes her timesheet and submits it for approval by clicking the Submit button at the top of the form. Kylie's line manager, John Thompson, can now complete the cycle by viewing and approving the timesheet. So there's an overview of how to use the Byjingo timesheet in our web application. You can use the timesheet to record hours worked against tasks, comments per task per day, and to communicate task progress back to the project manager. Remember the same functionality is available in the Byjingo mobile app, so you can record your hours wherever you are. Your timesheet in both Byjingo apps is kept in sync at all times, so you can use whichever is more convenient at any time. We hope you found this episode in the Using Byjingo series useful and informative. At Byjingo, we're committed to providing you with material to help you and your organisation get the most out of your project management system and the business processes around it. Be sure to check out our website for the latest from Byjingo. Remember, for assistance or feedback, you can contact us anytime by visiting our website, emailing us, or phoning us. So this is Russell signing off for now. See you in another video.